I've got more food on me, I think, than I managed to get in my mouth yesterday whilst eating. You've always got to work out which is the best way to eat when it's windy and wavy. Is it best? A. Face the direction of the enemy and then you know what is coming and at least the food is being blown into your mouth. Or better turn away from the enemy and therefore um, you don't get quite so much water in your face. But you can't see if water is going to go over your head anyway. And also the food is being blown away from you. Or C. Is it better to turn and face the enemy? The food turn around for a second, have a bit more, and then turn around again when the river's about to come so you know what's hitting. Haven't decided, we'll let you know. It's a pretty exciting one, I just pulled it out of the hat under here because I was looking at all my food kind of going, uh, oh, I need some chocolate, I've eaten it all, where is it? And um, first of all I pulled out a pepperami which is a treat. There were, I don't know, there's about 20 of these on the boat. Why we didn't put in 20 a day, I don't know, because they're great. And a Mars bar! That makes me very happy. I am sprouting some lentils. I've got tin peaches later, I'm so excited. Yum, 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 yum. Sometimes there's three chocolate bars if I'm really lucky. So I'm just gonna stop some lunch now, that's always good. Smooshed up fruit and nuts, they're really good, and I swear that is how they're keeping my intestines working properly. I had a delicious lunch. Oh, yum, it was good. Probably one of the best chilies I've ever had. Still, if you wanna make a girl happy, Give her a twirl. <laughs> real food, actual proper casserole with real bits of meat in. Day 85. Rye bread with almond butter and raspberry jam on top. On a day when you've made very slow progress and you've spent the best part of two days going backwards and three days pretty much going nowhere, um, happiness is in a Mars bar. I mean, happiness is always gonna be found in a Mars bar, but when you find a Mars bar unexpectedly, it's even happier. Tea bag! Raisins. We only lost. Excuse me, I'm eating at the same time. Munching nibbles from day bags, which I shouldn't be munching from. Porridge for breakfast. The jelly I made last night worked. So I had the last of my bread, which finished off the last of the jam. So I had some honey on it as well, that's very good. And then we've got the dreaded dehydrated meals. Oh yuck, chicken and vegetable pasta. And I saw this thing that's bulbous on the back. And I thought, whoa, yeah, we've done it. I turned it over and it was almonds. You know, I love almonds, but I really wanted some sweeties. So we celebrated this morning with our mango jelly and that was very good. Not massively firm, but I like a soft jelly. I haven't quite made it out of the cabin yet. That's because I'm eating cashew nuts. Then we had porridge and then I had wasabi peas. Albatross and chocolate. Ooh. I think 11 o'clock is too early for lunch. Somewhere in amongst all those food bags is a Terry's chocolate orange as well. I, I hope I get it before it's gone mouldy or before we get to Mauritius. Positively disgusting. Chocolate chip dessert. Peach and pineapple dessert. Mmm. Happy days. That makes a good day. I should have bought more of them. Oh, we're sprouting some peas. Baked giant beans. Peaches for tea. I've spent the last few days thinking about these. I've been looking for a Mars bar, I haven't seen any for a few days, getting a bit worried that they're all gone and we're Mars barless on the boat. Rooting through the chocolate supplies of another bag and I found a Mars bar. I thought I'd eaten the last of them, so that makes me very happy. Brilliant find last night on the food front too. Jelly babies. Oh. Joy. I ate them all at once. <laughs> they were squashed into a loaf. It was delicious. Just in case, you know, something should come along and eat the Mars bars before I got a chance to, I ate them all at once. All the black and white stripy Tweedle crab are under there. And there's one that's actually quite big. He could make a tasty little, uh, little fish finger sandwich. But I'm not going to catch him because he's too pretty and he's my friend. 